All right, I've come south from Hamilton, and this is the Waikato River. And I'm, I think I'm at Bulmer's Landing. Let's see if this will confirm that. Okay, so you can do trout fishing here. Yeah, so I'm above the first, the first dam, or I guess the southernmost dam. This is where Hamilton's drinking water comes from. Looks like there's a playground on the far side. And a boat launch. And this is really interesting. You generally don't see this exposed uh, cliff face. Generally looks like that, just rolling hills. You know, like what you see over here. So I bet at some point the Waikato River had a horrendous flood and eroded out all the soft material on that sort of thing. I'm at the Waipapa Dam on the Waikato River. So there's the dam. And uh, as I was trying to find a place to put the car, I noticed that. Don't know the story behind that. I had to do some research to see. There's the Waikato River. sure uh, how much we'll be able to see wow it's beautiful out here so quiet maybe one car comes down the road every four or five minutes So it looks like there's a little generator right here. There's an exhaust pipe in that little building, and then there's a drive shaft. So there's a motors, some motors and drive shafts. I guess they operate these steel cables and pull the pull the valves up, the gates, let the water out. The sign back there said there are toilets on the far side and then up the hill. So I'm guessing there's an open pit toilet somewhere. There's a black swan down there behind the gauge. Okay, so there is a uh, flood gauge. Looks like it says 129 meters in the middle there 130 131 so whew, must be really deep yep might not be able to see the water coming down it's all fenced off i'm not sure if i'm in the mood for walking all the way down there and risk being disappointed so that's the power station it's quite far from the water oh here's some stairs I guess that's how they could test a to see how much water is leaching through the, the dam. There's another one there. So you see these little red things, they're inspection hatches. 
So you can open that and see how much water is percolating through. So the electricity is made there. A series of transformers will adjust its voltage in it. Sorry for the sun. It follows those lines up and then it looks like it's heading south. It follows this south. So maybe this is what powers the city of Talpo. Hard to say. Um, I saw quite a few of these fenced off bee, bee boxes, so I guess I guess a lot of people do that on these uh, public spaces. <gasps> There's the swan again and the two ducks. See if I can zoom in for you. I was walking kind of fast, so he he's bolting. <laughs> oh, there's more than a few ducks there. I can hear some over on the other side. Just as I had turned the camera off at the other place, there were a bunch of pukekos across the way, made a bunch of racket. But just look what happened. I had just turned off the camera. And then of course, once they started making noise, then I could tell where they were. Yeah, what a weird place to put the toilets, eh? There's some more ducks. I see another tunnel going into the uh, into the hillside. Don't know what that's all about. I don't see any trail signs or toilet signs. Let's see, I hear a car heading south. Let's turn around. It's a yellow truck. Utes as they call them here. Let's see if we can see where the road goes. I walked into a spider and now I'm a spider web and I'm covered in webbing. Yeah, okay, so he is right there. So the road is right at the water level. This is as probably far south as I have time for today. Okay, so what do we think this big telescopic grapple is for? Probably pulling out logs would be my guess, the way it's angled. Looks like the perfect shape to scoop up logs. So I'm guessing there's a one, two, three, four, five sections. So they probably raise it up a bit and it goes out grabs logs, pulls them up, and then it probably rotates and puts them on a, uh, a log truck. Oh yeah, it's even on rails. How cool is that? So yeah, that's how you get the, the debris out. Machinery may start without warning. I hear the turbines. Can we see in? Oh, we can see in ish. Yeah, you can see the turbines down on the floor there. Maybe you guys can't, but I can. Oh, and you can hear them, you can feel them. windows open there. It smells like a musty old warehouse. <gasps> yep, there's Turbine G2 right there. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so they probably back dump trucks to right here, scoop out any debris before it gets caught up into the generating equipment. Yeah, I don't know what the story is behind those tunnels. We'll have to do further research. Oh, there's parking. Oh, I could have come all the way down here. I see cameras. There's no access rock climbing or abseiling in this area. Steep drop. There's the powerhouse. Reminds me when uh, we were at Lake Powell. Oh, I see. So there's no water release from where we were standing. That would just be a flood, a flood gate. So the water, oh, so those other gates are just for floods. Water does come out on this side. Hmm. Yeah, so it looks like they got a couple gates open. There's water swirling here. So that one's open just a little bit. And then there's another one open there. Yeah, wow. Okay. Yeah, so no rock climbing on that wall. Which seems kind of wrong. Okay, so I'm guessing the toilets are down that way, but the gate's locked. Here we go. Let's see, it says access across the suspension bridge to Jones Landing is closed. Follow road route to Arapuni Dam. That bridge is something Jason's been wanting to see. Okay, so that's where you would push your bikes through. Let's walk a little ways before we get in the car. Yeah, there are no layers in that rock. So that is not sedimentary rock. So that rock pre-existed the river. Mm, still can't quite see anything. You know, you're generally not allowed around uh, hydroelectric dams, so I feel like I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> I feel like I'm breaking the law, like I'm sneaking around. So it's just about the middle of May, and it has been chilly at night down into the 30s and 40s Fahrenheit and uh, right around 60 during the day and I guess today was about 60 but it was sunny and no wind which was brilliant because the wind can make a 60 degree day feel so much colder and more miserable. So I see a sign up there, but here are some stairs. I really did no research before I came out today, which was a bit of a mistake. Oh, is that a trail marker? On the left, it's just stairs. And then another set of stairs. 
I wonder if there's a lookout. Watch, I'll get home. I'll Google it and then I'll go, yeah, there's a must-see lookout. <laughs> so it says to the left is the Waipapa Tail Race. And this is the Waikato River Trails. Okay, there is nothing on that post. I talked to a local there, and he said this is where the workers that built the dam lived. So we'll go up a little ways, and then we'll have to get in the car and go. Yeah, I'm not sure. Anyone's oh I see a, I see a fantail further up. I see a fantail. Oh, it's quite over moon. You can tell we got some heavy rain the other day. Glad I got long pants on today. Oh, the spiders have been out. Spider webs everywhere. Oh, if this is anything like most places you get up to the top and it's overgrown and you can't see anything <laughs> there's a lighthouse spot on the south side of Auckland that I was thinking about going to oh cobwebs but I read the reviews online and everybody said it's a three hour drive on two lane roads. And then you get there and you can't see anything because the bushes have all grown up. Ooh, I'm getting out of breath. It's definitely the scent. Oh, my knees are going to be angry later. Oh, you can still hear the cars. Circus. Still has some climbing to do. I'm going faster than I probably should. Oh, only because I know I have to travel a couple hours north to get home. Holy crap. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and there's pine needles everywhere. <sighs> I 
I guess that was our bird flapping away. Okay, so looking to the right, there's the river. We are going this way. Oh, it looks like there's a fork. Oh. We could go that way. Or this way. Oh yeah, look, there's some stones. If this was ever a lookout, it's overgrown. That's where we came from. Okay. This feels like the top. Yep, that was the top. Well, eh, they let it get overgrown. Oh, well, we came this far. Let's just see. flattens out nicely up here oh, there's a road oh. yeah there's the road come on there has to be a lookout you can't put something like this up here and then let it get overgrown yes Yes. Oh, right on. Wow, and look, there's a survey marker. Is it marked? It is. I have to put on the old glasses. What does it say? Village C, A, and B. Okay, not a very useful marking. Okay, so let's see, we'll zoom in just a smidge. Not like that. So I parked right there in the very first car. And then that uh, round miners like looking gate is across the street. We came in across those those gates and uh, those are just flood spillways so I'm guessing the water I heard going through was just more than what they needed for today's power generation and then we walked across this is the power oh, there we go that's the powerhouse and you can hear it just sound like it turned off all of a sudden And uh, I don't know what that is across the way over there. So maybe that tunnel is access to those, to something that's behind those trees. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to zoom you back out. I don't see anything else that would look like. Oh, there's someone driving on now. Okay. Walked on there. 
nothing to see. So we'll head back. Looks like something's been scratching at the at the ground here. Don't know if that's possibly deer or what. Don't know. Well, I should have checked to see if I had signal back there. Okay. I wonder if this is that road I saw when I hit the stairs. Yeah, it looks old. Maybe an old trailhead. Sounds like some tuis and some parrots, maybe. Typical North Island sounds. Yeah, so if this is the road that was at the base of these stairs, this would be the top of that would continue on down. We'll poke our head around the corner and then we'll have to go to the stairs. This is probably 10 times longer than just doing the stairs. I would guess. Huh, another parking lot. And another trail. Man, you could spend a lifetime exploring. Eh? There's an old uh, hole that's been knocked down and shoved to the side. That was probably a cell tower at one point. I'm disturbing all the all the birds, so this would have sat up that way, and then these arms would have supported some cell phone antennas. Probably microwave as well. <laughs> okay, so I guess, uh, the executive decision is we're going to head down via the road and avoid the stairs. Why not? I'm feeling like I need to see something new. Something different. And then uh, we'll get in the car. Point ourselves north. And we shall go north. We'll go home, have a quick bite, go to the airport, and pick up Jason. Boy, this road better go back to the parking lot or I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be super mad. But I have a hunch. I have no cell coverage. So, I guess maybe what we'll do is we'll walk five minutes. They got these pullouts, like, are they going to build houses up in here? Thought they were going to do.
if this goes to the left and starts heading downhill, we know we made the right decision. What do you think? <laughs> With all the bird noises, you could, you would think that we could be anywhere in the world with a rainforest. Yeah, there's another pull out in the curb. And another one. Yeah, they were going to put houses up here, weren't they? This was supposed to be a neighborhood. Or the houses were the camp for the workers. Oh, the end of that. That might be the case. There's an old power line. Yeah. Okay, so it wasn't just huts. They actually built proper, probably wooden World War II style barracks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is this is going the right way down. Yeah, I took out that old bush. Yep. Okay. Good call there, Gillespie. Good call. Oh, it's a shame I didn't bring my binoculars today. Boy, the bush hog did a number on those, didn't they? Yeah, it looks like they recently, very recently brought the bush hog up here. Opened the road up. Oh, sorry for bouncing the phone around, but my left knee is starting to scream. Looks like they've driven down that enough to beat down the moss. Yeah, we're going the right way. Yeah, so welcome to New Zealand. We got some, looks like a black tree fern there. Yeah, let's see, it's Sunday afternoon, Friday night. They had predicted off and on again showers. And I think it was about 2.30. It sounded like all hell was raining down on our metal roof. And then it, it went on for, I don't know, felt like two days inside my head and then it stopped half an hour later it started back up again and it went off and on like that at about four I went ahead and got up because I had the alarm set for 515 to go up to Auckland oh, for some training on Saturday so I said, screw it, four o'clock, I'm just going to go on down, have a bite to eat, make some coffee, get all of my gear loaded in the car, and uh, I guess it was 5.15, 5.30, I headed out to the boat and RV storage place where the Red Cross truck is stored. Those are fence posts. Look at that. There's a concrete fence post. Another one. I didn't even realize it. They go all the way up the hill. You see that? There's one there. 
and there, and there. Yeah, you can tell this was put up by the government. Farmers did not spend money back then on concrete. It almost looks like there's something imprinted in it. No. Yeah, that looks like that might have had letters on it. Oh, well. Anyways, back to the boring story. I headed out. Look at the exposed rock. With no layering. That was all put down at the same time. Yeah, so uh, I hit the interstate at about 6 a.m. And I was thinking, man, <laughs> I'm so early. But it worked out good. I was able to get to the warehouse and pull out a laptop, make sure it was working, and pull out the server, get it plugged in, and give everything time to do their updates. I'm telling you, I don't know what was going on between Microsoft and Android Saturday, but every mobile device we had went into a uh, serious update download. And then, you know, then it had to install it. So the whole world came to a stop while all that data was downloaded and then installed. Very aggravating. Yeah, so it looks like they threw out some grass seed. It's coming up nice. Yeah, we've had to nice weather today this was perfect for just getting out in the car driving around stopping at the boat landing this was my mission this was the destination here was this uh my papa dam and because it's all just zigzaggy two-lane country roads it really does have to be a day where you're prepared to be in the car for hours. And I guess had I looked a little further on the map, I'd realize I'm halfway to Lake Topo. <laughs> oh, but just because you're halfway on the map doesn't mean that your uh, travel time is any, anywhere close to being reasonable. Because that would be a, probably two or three hours from here at 50 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour. Yep, so this is where I stopped. That local boy and I asked what the heck was out here. Stupid me, he got in the car without bringing any pamphlets, any brochures. What was I thinking? Okay, so now you can see the line, power lines coming up right there. And this was that sign we filmed. And then there's the fence that goes up those stairs. Yeah, so I don't know if we'll ever, if we'll ever be back. So we will, oh, there's some hikers. So we'll take a look around there. Don't know if we'll ever be back. It's a bit out of the way. Jason gets car sick on these country roads, so I'm not sure we'll ever be back. But mission accomplished. That's the stairs we ascended this uh, hilltop. It really wasn't that bad, but. I'm on the clock. It's quarter to four. So let's see if it's two hours to the house. Quarter to six. It gives me enough time for something simple for dinner. Take a break. Watch the news. Get in the car. Go to the airport. Kind of looking forward to seeing the inside of the Hamilton Airport. Hadn't been down there. Inside the terminal looks kind of 
new and modern. Oh, that's a Chinese tour group behind me. Oh, love the exposed rock and the sunshine there. How cool is that? Yeah, I'll do a little more research on the geology here in Waikato. Just to confirm all the jibber jabber I've given you today. I'm drawing a blank on the name of our YouTube geology guy who's in, uh, I think he's at Eastern Washington University. Oh, what's his name? Oh, look, someone dropped. What is that? That's what we were hearing upstairs. Oh, that's a conveyor belt pulling schmuck up from the river. Ah, oh, yeah. That's what we heard. That's loud. Man, I don't have any hearing protection. There's a water tank for your drinking water. So that's a conveyor belt. It's got teeth on it. We'll get around to the far side and see, uh, see if we can figure out how it all works. I wonder why it's so loud. I don't know, but that was... Oh, look, the thing's going down. Oh. Sorry, people, I'm trying to move fast. Oh, so that arm is going down. Can y'all see that? I guess that's automated. Machinery may start without warning. So you can see there's some swirl and flow. And see how there's some plant growth and stuff. Yeah. It's doing something. Sorry for all the zooming in and out. Those pulleys are moving, but I don't see I don't see anything actually going on. It's all happening below the water. I'm guessing it's going down to the gate level in the water. I'm scooping up whatever, whatever's in the water, blocking the gate. That's really deep. It says the water level is about. 127 meters.
You hear the ducks. Something's going on. I can't tell what. It's going out, whatever it is. It's still going out. Hundred and twenty seven meters is a long way. Oh, now it's coming back up. I can see this top segment moving. Yep, there's the bucket. Let's see, we'll move the end right there. See, there's the bucket. It is empty, sir. Okay, so anything that it would grab, it would drop in that trough, and there's a conveyor belt right there. That's where the conveyor belt is. Of course, it's empty, but it doesn't know that. So this is definitely automated. Can you guys see that conveyor belt moving? So it should open. There it goes, she's opening. <laughs> I guess it repeats this in front of each section of gate. Oh, look, the whole thing's moving. So it's moving along the track. Is it going to go down again? I wonder if there are brushes on the bottom of that conveyor belt where it unloads to scrape it. And that's what we're hearing. Because just the conveyor belt shouldn't be that high. That could be wrong. It just seems freakishly loud. So now she's going to point it back down. For another go. Here's a good shot of the railroad tracks. All right. That was extremely satisfying. <laughs> Nerds, right? Nerds! So there's the Chinese hiking group. Let's see. Looks like we got some new cars down at the bottom. I don't see anybody. I wonder, there's a set of stairs right there that go down. I wonder if you can go down and go fishing. Because it looks like they've parked. They've parked where they could, right there. Oh, look, you can see where we were. Right there. Ha! Let's zoom in. Apologize if I'm gonna make anybody ill. Okay, that's as far as the iPhone goes. But right there is that post. 
So uh, let's see, we hiked up the stairs here and then we followed the road around the back, uh, the back side. Wow, that was it the whole time. We didn't know what we were looking at. Clouds are pretty, aren't they? Look at that. That is beautiful. Hey, there's a an RV. It's like an old city city bus. Yeah, I'm guessing this was built sometime in the 30s. There's another inspection point. I would make a great survey marker there, eh? Yeah, she kind of has that old uh, w -A -W -P -A feel to it. Not that we're in the U.S., but, uh, you know, I mean, look at how the stone is put in here. You only do that when labor is really cheap and you're just trying to put people to work. So here's another inspection hole. Yep. Oh, look, another group. Another group of Chinese. I don't see a bus anywhere. Where are they all going? Oh, there goes the conveyor belt again. Could that sound be rollers that are underneath that belt? I don't know, but that's offensive. You are disturbing the peace. Okay. Oh, it looks like they're just piling in the SUVs. Oh, the temperature is dropping. Temperature is dropping. Yep, you can see. I can see. I don't know if you can see. I can see that concrete post. Yep. It's going to be dark when I get home. That's not a good thing when you, uh, you're used to driving on the right-hand side of the road. And you're driving on the left-hand side of the road, on the right-hand side of the car. It's all very, very precarious and sketchy. Okay. There goes a biker. So... This water is just being released because they don't need to run the turbines at full capacity. Yeah, I'd love to go through that gate. I want to see what's in that tunnel. That's our car right there. Okay, I'm going to shut you guys off. And uh, the buried phone cable over there too. And then we're going to head that direction. Right? That's where we're going. I'll give you one last view of the dam. That's it. I can still see that concrete thing over there glistening in the sun. Oh man, having a little bit of intel is a good thing. Can you see it? Sure you can. You can see it. Okay. Thank you, Why Papa Dam. Because of you, I'm going to film him and then we'll shut you off. <laughs>